How I make my personal life easier so that I can focus on my business is something that has unbelievably helped me grow my revenue at my PA because, I mean, let's face it, who is a good business owner when everything outside of the office is hectic as well? The penny dropped for me about 18 months ago when business was getting more and more demanding and something had to give and so I got slicker with life outside of work to help work and this episode is going to show you exactly what I implemented. Welcome to this week's episode. My name is Emma Mills, I'm the founder of my PA and I help business owners like leverage themselves out of the day to day so that they are either spending their time doing the things they want to do, the things they enjoy doing, or just spending it, imagine, with the people they want to spend it with. So this week's episode was inspired because a couple of weeks ago, I had somebody say to me that they perceive that I've just always got my shit together all the time in work and outside of work life. Now, of course, I'm really glad it seems like that. It's not always true, but it did make me think that there are, is to be fair, a lot of things I do and implement and now take for granted that would be helpful to somebody whose life is one big blend of work, business, personal, and it feels unwieldy and it feels hectic and it feels that home is as stressful as work. And I'm not talking about relationships. This episode is solely focused on systems, rhythm, uh, tasks, repeatable things, things that can just make life easier. So I thought, you know what? Great episode coming here. I'm just gonna make a list of the things that I do and have implemented and I hope some of these might just be like little light bulb moments or tick in the boxes for you to do the same. So I'm gonna share with you the five things that I felt like were most impactful on just making life outside of work easier. So number one is my calendar. And before you switch off, this is not about diary management. It's the fact that my calendar from Monday to Sunday is a complete reflection of what I am doing. Like my PA Bex knows that if it's not in the calendar, I'm not doing it. So everything personal is scheduled in there, like to the detail. Most importantly, my calendar is shared with my boyfriend, Joe, uh, vice versa, his is shared with mine. I know some of you watching this going, well, I'm not doing that. But for us, it has just eradicated so many tiresome conversations around, well, I didn't know you were away then, or I didn't know you were taking the car there, or you were doing this, or I didn't know you were out on Friday night, well, who's looking after Ralph? Like, it eradicates everything, because what I am doing is planned into the minutia, uh, my, as my PA Bex knows, like, if it's not in the calendar, Emma isn't turning up to it or doing it. So, Monday to Sunday, like, it's a complete, even when I'm doing a uh, training for a marathon at the moment, so when I'm doing a run, and when I've got, you do like, basically you get the picture. Everything is scheduled in there. And there is no chance for confusion. It's the same with Joe, like he does lots of training. That's all of in there. I, I know when he's gonna be out late. I know, I'm not saying now that I follow his every move and I know exactly where he is, but I know when we have commitments or when they clash or when one of us will be doing things that are important to us. And also, some of you may not be open to this, but a few key members of my management team also just have full access to my calendar. They can see when I'm in, when I'm out, what I'm doing, and I have no issue with that because I would just rather they know that this stuff is going on. But the key part is that because my calendar is shared with my boyfriend, it has just eradicated so many conversations that we would have had before around, well, when we, oh, you never told me you were going there. I did, I told you two weeks ago. Well, I don't remember that. Be like, none of that ever happens now. It's just, he can see what I'm doing. I can see what he's doing. And it makes life so, so, so much simpler. So number one, if you share your life with somebody that impacts you, 100% I would have a shared calendar with them of what you're doing and when, because it's been a real game changer for us. Number two, and one of my favorites, is subscriptions. So the more things that turn up without me having to think about them, the better. And like, if you just think about it in this way, if you have something repeatedly in your life, like surely you want it to happen. You, you make, you like, you put the effort in once and then it just keeps showing up. You don't have to keep putting the effort in time and time again. It's the one thing that my, having my PA has taught me, like the rhythm in the business of the things just repeatedly happening is where all the good stuff comes from. And if I am using or consuming something more than once, I can get it on subscription, then I am. So this, the moment, like a, 
a brief overview would be my supplements with longevity box. I get them every month come in my nutritional supplements. Beauty products, hair dye, if I, if I can get it on a rhythm, it's coming. Ralph's food, butternut box. We get coffee on subscription now. We get coffee every month coming. I did have a sparkling water subscription at one point. That was probably a step too far. Evening meals. I remember when the first couple of years of me and Joe being together, my weekly pain of thinking about what we were eating and when and when I was going to buy it and what we were going to cook. And I hated it every evening. I like cooking when I've got time, but not when I've come home from work and I'm having to think about like, what are we going to have? Like gusto has saved my evenings. The fact that I don't have to think about it. it I like I spend five minutes picking some really nice meals. They take 10 minutes to make. It means that Joe's now got involved because he never used to cook before. But literally the fact that it just comes, I don't have to go and get this stuff. I don't have to think about what we're gonna have that's not the same thing every night. Like Gusto for me is just a no brainer. The food shop, that now happens just on a weekly basis. I have an order that we duplicate and we add and remove where we need to. But it comes just every Sunday from Sainsbury's. Like I don't have to think about, oh, I'm walking around like wasting time. Oh, should we get some of this? Like it's just on a rhythm. And for me, the rhythm and consistency of things happening in my life frees my brain from so much fog it is worth it even if some of them are a little bit more expensive just having them on repeat than maybe going and getting a special deal at Morrison's or whatever like the fact that it's just happening makes my life so much easier so if I can get anything on subscription it's happening and I would really recommend you do the same And number three, which is the solution to never having to keep refining information all of the time, is that I have a project. Now, I use Asana. Whatever your choice of software is, or whether that's just an Apple Note or a OneNote or a Word document, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, we use Asana to run the business anyway. So I have a personal project in there, which is private to me, and I use it to store and add to and amend all of mine and like my close family around me like personal information that the kind of thing you might need and then you're like oh what, what was that where is it where can i find it so that will be i have a picture of my passport in there my driving license the name and number of ralph's vet uh, doctors the garage that we take our car to and then i start to build out like travel preferences in there and if there is a tr transfer company that we use when we go away or where we take the car to the garage or like, and I start to build out in there and I consistently amend this. Now this isn't just if you've got somebody helping you, this is like a place where I keep all of the personal information that I might go, oh God, where is that again? I keep in there like my UTR number for HMRC, um, my self-assessment number, my national insurance number, like all of the things. And w when something new comes in or if I've joined something new or like so my private medical insurance, my membership number, I just start to add all the things in there that is like this complete treasure tro trove of when I need to sort something out personally. I go, oh, I'm gonna look in there first. I know we'll have put it in there. Rather than looking through letters, paperwork, where did I put that mortgage reference numbers? I literally just keep adding to it on all of the key personal things in my life that like I'm going to need this number at some point and what it's really helpful with is that when you get to the point which I hope most of you do after you've watched this video to get somebody to support you in your personal life and that is not a big expense or a big as big a deal as it might initially sound having one place where they can add to as well or easily find information that they need to progress stuff is just absolutely like, makes life so much easier and as you start to build up this project around you and the people close to you in your personal life of information that you would need then getting somebody to help you can become much much easier and that's going to take me on to my step number four Number four was getting somebody to support me in my personal life and to be fair like this stems all the way back to the first time I ever heard Nigel Bottrell tell the story around how he went on holiday, spent time with a family who, or met a family rather on holiday who had a housekeeper and then it opened his eyes up to the idea of wow if I got a housekeeper on a couple of hours a day it would make my wife's life so much easier and mine and it would make everything flow so much better and this is what the essence of this episode is about, getting the things that just make everything flow flow better so you're less hectic, less frazzled, less stressed and getting somebody to help as an exec PA in my personal life 
is definitely up there with the all-time greats of things that make my life better. And before you think, oh wow, okay, I'm turning this video off because I can't afford a full-time salary, I don't need someone full-time. Like, when I first started to get some help, probably three or four years ago now, my first PA actually was a virtual PA and she was literally doing about five to 10 hours a month for me. This was probably like 2019, 2018, something like that. I now have Bex who works full-time and, and she helps me in all sorts of areas, but in the very beginning, my PA that I had was literally supporting me for five hours a month 10 hours a month having that go-to place of can you just do this can you just sort that the tick in the box like the dopamine hit of like somebody just taking something off you and this the mindset of this episode is not do, doesn't just have to be about in the business because you put so much into the day okay getting your personal life in better shape in a better place it doesn't have to be pushed to the back being a really great business owner isn't about sacrificing everything outside of what's going on in the office and that well you know I'm really on top of it here but unfortunately just everything has to go outside my personal life that's not what being a really great business owner is about and it doesn't have to be like that there are solutions for it so I just wanted to give you some flavor of the kind of things that my PA Bex like some of the, the personal things that she is doing for me and Joe, And like, she literally books all of our travel. She checks us in. No matter what our travel is, I will just send her a screenshot of what we want and she just books it. And she has our, you know, she has a card to use. So she books all of our travel, makes sure it all flows nicely, that we've got enough baggage and all of that. Like little nitty gritty stuff that she gets our seats reserved near the front. You know, the stuff that just, it takes time. And I would rather be spending that time doing something else that I really want to do. She's helped me with all organize a Hindu for a friend like she helped kind of coordinate who was going who'd paid the money I have all of the birthdays of my friends and family in my calendar and without fail a week or two weeks beforehand Bex will look in advance and go okay this is coming up what should we do like or just even if it's a prompt even if I'm the one getting the gift I'll just be like okay this is coming up what do we need to sort or organize anything at all so she'll have that as well I have a whatsapp group with my PA Bex and my boyfriend Joe and then in that we can just send we'll send screenshots messages like oh can you do this and even you know over the weekend you'll be oh let's book this pop it in she gets to it on Monday having the whatsapp group is a real no-brainer because it's just so easy to go oh and what about this and what about this Literally, if somebody recommends a book to me, I'm putting a screenshot in there and asking Bex, can you just go and get me one of those and get it I like, ordered the next day on Amazon? You know, she's waited in the queue for tickets to Solomon, a DJ I really wanted. On an online queue, that is, not in a physical queue, but she's waiting online queue to get tickets to something that I wanted. And just all of these things add, while they are not big, huge projects to push the business forward, they make my quality of life so much better that she has got my back and she also by having the project with all of my the personal details in she has an, a, a knowledge of my life that just makes her doing things so much easier because she knows and she gets it and she knows the preferences and what we would do and what we wouldn't do and so that that flow just starts to get easier and easier so one by having all your details in a place where you can access them but two once you plug in somebody to help you even if it's for a couple of hours a week which is so possible whether it's a company like ours whether it's somebody local that just wants some part-time work to work from home whether it's a local va just getting that support makes life so much better where you've actually just got someone you can farm a few things out to uh, and they'll get them done for you even when we've moved house i mean we're about to move house again Bex has done all of the redirections, all of the changing of the addresses, like all that kind of thing that otherwise I might be spending my Saturday afternoon or my evening doing. And quite frankly, I would rather, and, and it's a real mindset to get into, I'd rather buy my time back so I can go and do something that I really enjoy doing. But all of this stuff's happening in the background and you don't have to be a multimillionaire to make this happen. All this stuff can be just happening in the background while you go off and do other things that you would rather do. And the one thing, this happened again um, on a call this morning. Somebody said to me, I struggle with the, with using a PA because I feel a bit cheeky asking them to do things. Do not be in any doubt that your tasks and your like the satisfaction of getting through these things and getting them done is somebody else's like absolute source. Like they love to do that. They love to help you and they love to go, right, done this, what's next? Done this, what's next? solve a problem, no, right, oh, they, they can't put this in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you those tickets, I'm gonna find that restaurant reservation, like that is somebody else's 
absolute perfect job and role so don't ever think as well that oh well, it's just easy to do it myself I don't want to bother him somebody else out there wants to and loves to do those tasks And number five, which might be a slight deviation, but I, in the past 12 months, have prioritised my fitness in my personal life as much as I have prioritised my business in the past 15 years. And I cannot recommend this enough that you treat fitness sessions in your calendar like you would a meeting with a client. Now, I got myself a fitness coach to kickstart this whole thing because I like accountability, but you could just as easily do this with a friend or I'm not saying you have to get a fitness coach, though for me it really helped. But that treating of time in your calendar as important as a meeting to either go out and do one or two mile walk or go and do a gym class or go and do a run, that has been the biggest ease of my personal and work life that I've probably ever experienced. Because I've always like dabbled in the gym a bit, but it's always been at the bottom of the list. And as soon as I put what you would call a personal task up to the front of all of the business tasks, it made running the business so much easier because the way I dealt with stress, I guess my general fitness levels, um, just it really helped shape me as a much better leader. And so I just had to include this in because in terms of getting your personal life like running um, fluidly and smoothly, for me, you know, subscriptions, sharing your calendar with the people around you that are important, getting some help, getting all of your personal information into just one clear place where you're not having to keep checking it. But number five was prioritizing my health and fitness has made me an infinitely better, clearer, wiser business person. So I just had to include that because I want you to give it the same importance and that I feel like we most often do to our business, but not to, you know, that everything else that flows around it. So I hope today's episode has helped you get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds because for me when your personal life is overwhelming is hectic it constantly feels behind and you're just spending the weekends catching up that is when we are most often in the dirt and not doing meaningful things not enjoying how we're spending our time and everything starts to get slower and slower and slower so putting some clarity around how you can get your personal life flowing like it should be is only a good thing and i will see you next week see you then bye bye Thank you.